What's up? Welcome to another video. It is Saturday morning. I just got back from the gym. It's about nine o'clock. I'm about to head to Coach Fabry's house to head over to the Bridgeport uh, Sweet 16 games. First game of the day is at 1130, Notre Dame and NC State. And the second game is UConn and Indiana. So starting off the vlog there, get a couple clips. But uh, again, this past week, we kind of just settled down from the end of the season. Hope you enjoyed the two previous videos. But we are now into the postseason. Um, and, you know, player workouts will start up in a couple of weeks, final four next week. So a lot going on. So I figured why not just keep the vlogs rolling, getting a rhythm here. So, yeah, heading over to that game right now. It's going to be a fun afternoon. We are at Sweet 16 game. First game of the day, NC State, Notre Dame. Next game, UConn, Indiana. Check out the seats. What's up, guys? Tuesday, 7.45 p.m. I just got off a podcast with uh, Shannon Hovon, who runs the Untitled Podcast. Talks all things women's uh, sports, but right now, specifically women's college basketball. As the NCAA tournament is, uh, you know, wrapping up, Final Four is this weekend. Some crazy games these last couple of days. So I've been uh, featured on her pod quite a few times in the last couple of weeks, uh, just kind of talking bracket picks, predictions, and, you know, uh, recapping the games after that. So that's a lot of fun. That's just something I love doing, and I love connecting with people who just want to talk basketball. Um, and, of course, I do have my own podcast, Backyard Buckets Basketball, which I'm going to be kind of starting season two now as the season uh, wraps up basketball season, so I'll have some more time. I've taken a couple months off of it. i uh, just been super busy and have a hard time getting guests during the season. don't really want to bother people. So, uh, But as the off season starts to uh, kind of settle in now, I'm definitely going to be reaching out and kind of re uh, revamping that podcast, getting it going for season two, um, connecting with more coaches, players, all that. So, uh, yeah, but make sure you check out her podcast. I'm going to link the episode below if you want to hear all, thing, uh, all things college basketball talk. But, yeah, excited. Tomorrow is my flight headed out to Minnesota. Um, again, it's 8 p.m. right now. We had a kind of a long day. Again, player meetings, um, a couple of workouts uh, during the day, and then had some errands to run and stuff. Last minute things before catching that flight tomorrow. I have not worked out yet, which is really weird for me. I usually work out in the morning, but last night was a long night because I was at the UConn NC State game, which was phenomenal. Obviously, the, one of the best games um, that I'd ever been to live. Double overtime. What more could you ask for? NC State, hell of an effort. Had an answer every time UConn scored and you thought UConn was going to pull away. NC State had a huge answer, a huge bucket, a huge stop. But uh, in the end, UConn was too much. It was pretty much a home game for them. Um, um, the place was absolutely packed, and uh, it was majority UConn fans. I will say that because it was in Bridgeport. But, uh, yeah, NC State, hats off to them. And, uh, again, just super excited to see the games, the Final Four. Now UConn, Stanford, South Carolina, Louisville. So heading out there uh, tomorrow. But I'm uh, going to go get a workout in right now. Late night workout, 8 p.m. It's going to be a late night. Got to pack. Got to do a bunch of stuff still. I'm such a last-minute person. But uh, it is what it is. So that's the update. All right, guys, what is up? I am about to actually check out of the hotel, wrap up the trip here in Minneapolis. But uh, before I did that, I kind of just wanted to uh, kind of take you through the entire trip. So that's kind of how we're going to start the vlog. I was not able to film a ton um, like live while I was there, or, like talk to the camera and stuff. So I kind of just got a lot of B-roll. So I figured to make more sense out of what actually happened in the past three, four days that I've been here is I'd kind of narrate it from start to finish. So Wednesday, you guys saw, I packed up all my stuff, headed to the airport, flew out Wednesday, like afternoon-ish and got in Wednesday night, didn't really film anything. Um, just went to dinner and relaxed, was kind of tired um, because I knew I had an early morning on Thursday. So that brings us to Thursday. That was day one of the WBCA convention. So again, 
all of the college coaches that were out here are part of what's called the WBCA. Um, essentially, it's, you know, you pay a couple hundred dollars and you're part of that group. So you get kind of invited to all the events. So all of like the round tables and the meetings and the conferences are all part of the WBCA. So you go in, the first day you get there, you obviously, you register. So you go pick up your little tag, they give you a little gift bag, all that kind of stuff just to say like, I'm here, what's up? Um, and you go from there. So. The first day at 10 a.m., there was um, what's called Mentoring Madness. So I actually was able to go with Kate, um, my colleague that works at Quinnipiac with me, um, and we were able to kind of get a mentoring session um, amongst a bunch of other coaches as well that signed up um, with head coaches. So basically, you walked into a big room. There was, you know, maybe 20, 30 tables, and at each table was like three assistant coaches. Um, typically, it was younger coaches, a lot of people like my age, a little bit older than me. They're probably newer to the business. Um, but basically you sat at a table with a head coach um, for about 20, 25 minutes and we're kind of able to talk about whatever you wanted. You could ask questions, whether it was recruiting, scheduling, player development, culture, anything that you kind of really wanted to talk about. Um, you kind of had the free reign to just have a conversation with a head coach, which was really, really cool. Um, you don't really get that one-on-one -on -one time a lot um, in clinics and stuff like that where you can really feel comfortable asking questions and be a little bit selfish about the questions that you want to ask that maybe you haven't heard answered before. So that was cool. I got to talk to Jose Fernandez from USF, um, Jackie Carson from Furman, uh, Sharika Wright from UT Arlington, and then Jess Minetti from Sacred Heart right down the road from Quinnipiac. So really, really cool. Again, that was a two hour session total. So like 20, 25 minutes and then the coaches would kind of just rotate around. So that was a start Thursday. So again, really good morning. Then later on that day, we had the 30 under 30 ceremony. Pretty cool that I was able to be recognized as one of the top up and coming um, assistant coaches under the age of 30 in women's college basketball. So pretty special recognition. I didn't expect that just finishing up year two, but uh, really, really cool. Also Kate, our other assistant, like I just mentioned before, she got it for the second time already. She is a freaking boss. Like literally I've learned so much from her in just like the 10 months that we've been on staff together. So that's been awesome. So again, she was recognized as well. And for that, it basically was the 30 recipients were invited to like a little, uh, I guess it wasn't really even a ceremony. It was again, more of an informal style, um, like kind of like event, like a seminar a little bit where they brought in a panel of head coaches um, from power five schools to division two schools. And it was really cool. Like again, they spoke and gave some words of wisdom um, as you're getting into the business and whatnot. And then um, they also just answered some questions from us. So again, 30 coaches and it was pretty intimate. So it was again, a good feel of building connection and actually being comfortable asking questions, not like a lecture style at all. So that was Thursday. Okay guys, it is day three of being in Minneapolis, um, I have not honestly gotten to vlog much at all. Yeah, yesterday was cool. Um, did a couple like mentoring sessions in the morning. Um, got dinner with a lot of the QU squad, a couple of alums, a couple of my friends. And then there was a couple like welcome parties. So it was kind of out late last night. Um, that was a lot of fun. And now right now today, heading over to get some breakfast, got a workout in this morning. And then there are like clinics and presentations all day long. So today's gonna be a educational day. And then the game is tonight, the final four game. So heading to that, but that is just me checking in, trying to film as much as I can. All right, currently walking to dinner with the squad, going to meet some alums, QU coaches, QU former players, squad. All right, I'm here with Sammy G. Who remembers this legend, Winnipeg? We're at the Final Four, we're at the first game, Louisville, South Carolina, end of the first quarter. We're about to go sneak into, uh, get some better seats. Uh, we, were in the, we were in the nosebleeds, so uh, yeah. But enjoying the trip so far here in Minneapolis. Not too cold today, but uh, yeah. Gonna have a good night catching up with some uh, some old friends, some some alums, but uh, yeah. Catch you after the game. Friday was a little bit more of the same in terms of round tables. So these were like 20 minute um, little uh, like talks almost like presentations that were a little bit less interactive, but more just like getting quick hit information. And there was different subjects and you can go to different rooms. Um, 
to learn about whatever you wanted to go to. So again, you didn't have to sign up for these, like you just popped into them. So again, every 20 minutes, a different coach um, would be in there kind of just talking on a specific subject. So that was cool. That was like a big like note taking kind of day. Um, learning, again, not as many like questions because the sessions were just so short I had to get the information out, but it was really, really helpful. And it was cool that you can kind of go through the schedule and pick and choose, all right, do I want to go do this on dribble drive motion? Do I want to see this on recruiting? And kind of like make your schedule based on what you were interested in. So that was Friday. And then alongside of that, were on court presentations. So these are like my favorite things typically. Um, obviously the round tables were really nice, but I love seeing the on court um, on court clinic. clinics were held on like the third floor of the hotel in this massive like convention center style room where they had the court laid out and there were probably hundreds of coaches just watching these clinics. So this wasn't as intimate as everything else, but again, it was an on court presentation. So the first one I saw was Amy Egan from Drury. Um, they were the division two runner ups, I believe this year. Um, and she talked about like post defense then there was another one with the assistant or the associate from um, Toledo that talked about some shooting drills with the gun. Towson put on a really good clinic on their transition offense. So again, those were like an hour each about, um, and you could choose to go to those and then break up with some round tables. So Friday was a big day of just learning and getting more information, note taking. Saturday, it was more round tables and an open practice. So we actually got to see like South Carolina and UConn kind of shoot around. <laughs> Um, for Saturday, so I saw some of their shooting drills and stuff. Nothing crazy, obviously. They weren't going to uh, unleash all of their secrets to the public. Um, but it was cool to see them practice. And then Sunday at an Adidas meeting. Okay, I just got back from meeting with our Adidas rep. Just wanted to uh, obviously introduce myself because I just took over the gear like last year. So I'm still kind of learning the ins and outs of stuff and uh, you know doing the equipment and whatnot. There's a lot that goes into it, a lot more than you would think. Actually, it's not just, uh, oh, I like this pair of shorts or this shirt order. There's way more that goes into it. So I'm still learning that every uh, every day, every week. So uh, it was cool though. I got to kind of ask a bunch of questions, see some of the new upcoming stuff that they have coming out. And then he hooked me up. He hooked me up with this fresh white backpack, man. Like, that's nice. And some swag. Nice. So shout out to Jordan from Adidas. Really cool to meet him and uh, obviously get some get some cool swag. Uh, so that was a nice little meeting there. And then the championship game was Sunday night. Between all that, I obviously got to see a lot of friends, former teammates, coaches that recruited me and coaches that I just knew from, you know, the last two years of just being in the business. Um, so definitely went out to dinner every night, met up with some old friends again, like I said, old coaches. Got the Quinnipiac Spa back together with Sam Guastella and Boo Abshire, uh, Coach Mount McGilvery, everybody. So that was really, really cool. Um, so again, in between all of like the learning and the note taking and, and you know, all the business type stuff and the coaching stuff, it was really cool to be able to connect and meet a lot of new people. So that is kind of a, a quick synopsis on how the weekend went. Again, I'm about to check out right now. I've actually got to get out of here in the next five minutes. My flight's at 8 p.m. tonight. I have to check out. It's like 12.30. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to go find like some coffee shops or a Starbucks or something. Before I head to the airport, I've got a little bit of a wait, but uh, a lot of recruiting and stuff that i got to catch up on a little bit. So it'll be good for me to just have some time to just open up the computer and catch up. But again, it was an awesome time in Minneapolis. Wish the weather was a little bit better. It was kind of cold, but uh, overall, it's kind of what... Uh, the final four was like from a coaching perspective. Again, this was my first year being here as part of a w the WBCA. Um, so learning a lot and excited for next year. And uh, yeah, so that was it. Hope it helps kind of give an idea of what the coaching convention is like, what the weekend kind of entails. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to give my my overview on it. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. We got more to come this postseason. We'll be out on the road recruiting again soon. So everything's just picking right back up. Uh, never really stops, but again, loving it. Getting to travel, see new places. Um, yeah, but that's what I got for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.